It's like Beauty and the Beast, but if it was made by Abercrombie and Finch. We saw Beastly, so you know what that means. A nigga grow a baby in his belly, rock a rhinestone vest while ripping Justin to Kelly. Or maybe see a burlesque show with Nick Crow and take a boat with speed to hitting cruise control. J Man, Big Paul, and the beautiful June. Gonna take you from the goob all the way to the room. Ran the games of Street Fighter, helped to blow off steam. Just a sucker punch the odd life of Timothy Green. Shock Nato to Bird Demic, how we staying alive. They call it in the badass, and he's on the line. Cranking 88 minutes, cause they cool as ice. Cause a bad Jim Varney look. Looking kind and nice. Paul and June getting literal. Jason is getting laid. June is making sure all the monkey shots getting paid. They judge a bunch of movies while they're making, making the grade. grade. Here's a real question for you. How did this get made? <laughs> That's a good look, Haru. What's that smell? <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of How Did This Get Made? Matinee Monday. I'm your host, Paul Shear, a.k.a. Tall John. And this week, we are going back into the How Did This Get Made vault for a show live from New York, where we are talking about a Beauty and the Beast style tale about sexy teens. Yes, sexy, rich teens, like pretty little liars, but ugly. And what is ugly? I mean, this movie is bizarre, okay? The ugly is like, it looks like... um you know when you grow like ivy up a wall this this uh main character our beast in this is uh basically a guy ivy growing up his face not real ivy but that's the way his tattoos he basically gets bad tattoos he looks like uh someone who was like really into like the metal scene in the 80s and then we're getting to catch up with him now and it it didn't age well with him it's like all those like little um what when people used to get those uh tattoos of the um the barbed wire around their their arm. Like, that's what this movie is. That's what being ugly is. I mean, this person is still is ugly, but let me tell you something. You know who loved this movie? June Diane Raphael loved this movie. She unironically thought this movie was great. And I kept on telling her, June, this movie is about kidnapping. Like, that, that, like it's like, yes, Beauty and the Beast, sure, whatever. But this movie is like, hey, isn't it romantic when you kidnap someone that you love? Because then eventually they will fall into you. There's an alternate ending that we get into and we actually show in the live show. We break it down. I think it was a better alternate ending, maybe a little bit more disturbing, but that's what this show is about. Uh, and also, Jason describes truly what a beast should look like. Because, I mean, the beast here is still pretty. It's like powder with barbed wire tattoos. I think that's what it is. And uh, <laughs> and Jason has a, a very descriptive way of getting there, uh, telling... And Jason has a very descriptive way of telling us what a beast should look like. Um, I also get to talk to a lot of balcony monsters in this show. So stay tuned for that. And now listen to a clip. Yeah. Tribal yeah, the tattoos. Element, the element yeah. of it that was that kind of like the what looked like uh, 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 tattoos or black kind of thing growing or with a tree or whatever. That did, did look cool. Did not mind it. Did not mind that it. That did look cool. But I feel like they tried that and they were like, oh, no, this looks cool. You know what? What about long open wounds? <laughs> no, you know what? This also kind of looks cool. Okay, what about a bunch of staples in his head? <laughs> now you're getting somewhere. Okay, also boils around his nose. He, but is he still shredded? Yep. Does yes. he still have like a yes. body to go bananas? A body on? that will yes. not quit. Wrote, it will not quit. Are you kidding? I wrote beauty is only skin deep, but abs are forever. <laughs> but you, you wrote that years ago. That was you. You've always I, said that. Was that the to name be of, fair. That was the you've name of your one that. man show, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> it is, and I was in better shape when I used to do it, but it was great. Um, but I think they had to make him somewhat. Sexy. Like, I, I do believe if you saw this guy on a billboard saying, like, playing okay. in Vegas on New Year's, you'd be like, cool. Well, That's I think the Tiesto. Same, but he's like Tiesto. Some sort, he's some sort of DJ that goes, is like DJ Frankenstein. Yeah. That's what he seemed like. Now, I think if you think about the Beauty and the Beast version that we probably all know. Beauty um, and the <laughs> that Beast. That one. You know, the Beast is an actual beast. He's right. an animal. Um, and he's pretty good looking. 
Okay. Wait, are, you're talking about that. are you talking about the car, you're talking about the Disney cartoon or the I Linda haven't seen Hamilton, the live uh, the Linda Hamilton Ron Perlman the, Linda Hamilton yes Linda Hamilton right? Ron Perlman the CBS live, hour long yeah the live action I've not show seen from any when we live were action versions of Beauty and the Beast I've oh, only okay. seen like Angela Lansbury as the teapot can, that's all I can know. I ask you June to go further here and say were there any other Disney characters that you found to be a little attractive. <laughs> Well, uh, Sebastian the crab. <laughs> no, I mean I'm not. Uh, listen, the the thing about the beast is that he is an animal. The way you and lean I in on it. <laughs> the thing about <laughs> the beast. What I'm saying is he's not human. He's lost his human form. Right. And but even in that, he has some amount of sex appeal. Where he's still wearing pants and an overcoat. Oh, he's definitely wearing clothes. Yeah. He's definitely wearing clothes. This guy, you can't get a fucking shirt on him. No. He is shirtless in an aggressive way. He's like one of those guys who hangs out at Central Park with his shirt. Like, it's like, we just crossed the boundary into Central Park, shirt's off. <laughs> but the crazy thing about him is he goes out into public or doesn't go out into public as though he's an actual animal as though he's like not a human form anymore. As though people are gonna torch the apartment. Well, as if he's a beast. As but he's, he's not a beast, a beast. But he's, he's just not. a, no. He's well, we just live a, in a like world a, though. He's I think just a just... really good looking guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, June. This oh, June. is, I mean, look, so he chooses to play handball in his apartment for five months. <laughs> Instead of I'm going to say into the this outside. right now. If I played handball for five months in my house, I would not have that good a body. <laughs> like, because I also, you don't see him working out. No. But he, to have that Must body, be. he would have to be working out, I don't know, six hours a day? <laughs> what? Okay, let me just go back to the beginning when he is a pretty man. Um, when he is a pretty man, it feels to me like the script is like, someone pitching you the movie. It's like, yeah, yeah, you know, so he goes in, he's like, you know, ugly people, blah, good people, attractive people, cool, and then like a witch curse him. Like the dialogue in the beginning of this movie, you're like. Is that, it's, is that. So it's like, hey, uglies, and he's like, you're ugly, oh, yeah. and I'm attractive. His speech, his speech to run for class whatever. Green, by also, the way, the, what is also, he running what is for? The what green is this? Is this, committee. A, is this a school or a tech startup? I was like, oh, this is a movie that's taking tech bros to task for being fucking dicks. This is a movie about Uber. I get it. Um, it was but, like an incubator high school. But he's literally like in front of an entire, the entire student body and he's like, ha, ah, that dude's a fucking dork. You're ugly, you're ugly, you're a barf. It's not, it, like, and, I, and here I get you need to set up the thing, but it is so aggressive, and you're like, wow, that's aggressive. And then you meet the dad, and you're like, whoa. But let's, let's just, um, let's the talk. Dad, the dad who... Peter uh, Krause, amazing. It's Krause, who you think is like, oh, well, he's like, they, they've got a million houses, blah, blah, blah. He's like a news anchor. Yeah. He's like, he's a, like a news, news anchor, anchor with, like, conservatively $25 million of property. This guy is like Chuck Scarborough or Bill Butel. I know those yeah. are deep pulls. Chuck Scarborough's, Chuck Scarborough's in the house, so give it up. Where am I Sue Simmons at? Um, <laughs> all right, let's lay a piece of his speech. True or false, you are an aggressively unattractive person. Hatch your face, face safe. Face like burnt Lego. Or did you only just miss the beauty ball? Can you pause Any for one second? Way? What's on her face? <laughs> Did we ever find out? Is it some sort of techno-organic virus from like, that, that Cable has? When he came back from the future? She's a witch. All supernatural people have staples in their face. Also, also, are there witches in this movie? This is, yes. there's like a real curse? But by the way, here's the thing that I'd like to talk about. The, uh, the biggest issue I have, and it's really only one, um, 
is why would he fuck with the witch? Like, like I don't know much. I'm a dum dum. But if I looked at that person, I'd be like, yeah, I don't fuck with that. Like, like. Beastly is now streaming right now in our How Did This Get Made feed. You can listen to it uh, with commercials. But if you don't want to hear commercials, just go to Stitcher Premium. Use the code Bonkers. Get a month free, and you can hear everything new and old episodes whenever you want commercial free if you want to check us out on tour you can check us out by going to hdtgm.com we have live shows we have virtual shows everything you need to know about how this get made is right there on that page and if you ever say to me paul i got a movie for you well let me tell you something we got the best movie picking team in the business avril halley is her name and she is finding us classics all the time so thank you avril thank you nate for all of our research and thank you all for watching this. Remember, this is the only official How Did This Get Made on YouTube. Like, subscribe here. We do this every single week. Classic episodes, talking about them, playing old clips. And if you like this, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Remember to rate, review, and follow your podcast and tell everybody that you know about it because that's what we need to do. We need validation by uh, more people watching. That's we're all, it's the business we're in. All right, we'll see you next week for How Did This Get Made's Matinee Monday. Bye for now.